everyone, it's Melissa. Today, I'm just doing a quick introduction to a video I did Sunday. We were celebrating my grandson's birthday, and so uh, he wanted pasta bar. We have so many people with different food restrictions, I thought, that, well, I'll show you how I do it. Uh, so, most of us are gluten-free, so I just do gluten-free pasta. I do four packages of gluten-free pasta. My favorite is the tink Tinkyata, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, because it doesn't contain corn. I have a couple of people in the family that can't have corn, so I have to be really careful of the pasta, uh, you know, if you don't have corn, because some of them will put corn in it, but this one does not. Some people can't have dairy, so I had to do another thing of just regular noodles, simple, with olive oil and salt and pepper on it. And then if they want to, they can put nutritional yeast on it. And then I just did one simple pan of just a small thing of the marinara sauce. Um, the rest of it is a pan, uh, well I did them in crock pots. One crock pot is two things, two packages of spaghetti with a double, uh, double recipe of the meat sauce. Because that's what everybody likes the most and most people can eat that. Well, everybody can eat that because uh, it doesn't have corn or dairy on it. Then I do a lemon spaghetti in one little crock pot thing. I have a warmer that I bring out. Uh, and it's got three like crock pot things in it. And so, and then one of them has uh, lemon spaghetti. So I show that. Uh, the middle one has just the sauce. I just opened, I just used a jar sauce for, for it. Um, I'm being lame, uh, but I did, and uh, but I did make my meat sauce and I make my lemon spaghetti. But uh, and then the third one is just the plain noodles with the uh, olive oil and salt pepper on it. So that's kind of how we do it. I went to the olive bar at the grocery store and got you know different cheeses and tomatoes and olives and stuff. So I put that in a little platter and made a salad and um, I do a vinegar and oil salad dressing that I make. So, and my daughter brought the dessert and the little birthday boy can have gluten or dairy. So she made some chocolate mint brownies that are paleo. Uh, and they do have, uh, they do have nut flour in it. And another family member can't have nuts. So she does a special chocolate thing for her without nuts, uh, without any kind of nut flour in it. So uh, we all finagle around. My daughter does the desserts for me because she's such a good cook. So anyway, this is our pasta bar. And uh, my kitchen, you know, it needs to be redone. It's like from the 1960s. It's just in terrible shape. But uh, so, you know, try to overlook that. I don't have the you know, a lot of fancy fa fancy stuff in there. But um, anyway, this is how in our food challenged family for a birthday, we do pasta bar. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Okay, there is the meat uh, simmering with some onions in it. And I'm adding the tomatoes. I decided to do a voiceover because I couldn't talk and try to cook at the same time. So I thought it was easier to do a voiceover. More tomatoes. Uh, four things of tomato paste, and that's when I'm still trying to talk, and I just couldn't do it. And there's that warmer that I have, and it's got three separate things that are kind of like little crock pots. It's, it's heavy. <laughs> I'm just trying to clear things out. And I'm going to season my, my meat sauce with some onion powder and some Italian seasoning and salt and pepper. And I like to watch my friends on YouTube while I cook, if I can. And just, you know, cleaning out my, uh, the little crock pot things the warmer that's been sitting out, so make sure it's good and clean. Then I'm gonna get my big, we had, see our kitchen just has no cabinet space or anything. We are, we're in dire need of a kitchen makeover someday. That's our, that's our goal someday. So anyway, I have to move things to get the big crock pot out. It'll happen someday, hopefully. There's the sauce. 
and just trying to adjust the crock pot. And I'm going <laughs> to pour the sauce into the crock pot now to keep it warm. That's just the sauce part that noodles are cooking. I'm going to keep that warm on there because I need the pan to cook the noodles. So I have to empty that out. I just have two pans. That, that thing's broken, I think. Yeah, it was broken. I couldn't find it the right way around. And then just plugging it in. We only have two plugs in there, so it's, it's, it's comical, isn't it? We have two plugs, so I have to run extension cords to plug things in. Oh, then cleaning out that pan because I've got to use it for my noodles. Now, I'm doing two things in, in that big pan. I'm doing two things of pasta. And now I'm going to make the sauce for the lemon spaghetti, as it says. So do olive oil in it first. I'm going to make it in that pan. And then my lemon juice. And then I didn't show it, but I added the parm, Parmesan cheese. Then I kind of whisk it all together. And I kind of just warm it up a little bit. Now I I think now I'm getting my big thing of noodles to put in the meat sauce on the left, in the big crock pot. Now, this pasta, it doesn't say to, but I find if you run really, really hot water on it, it won't be as sticky and clumped together. It just does so much better, I think. And so that's what I did, drain it, and then I'm adding it to the meat sauce. And, you know, I know that a lot of people like to do their meat sauce or their sauces and their spaghetti separately. But with gluten-free pasta, it's hard to do. It gets gummy fast. You have to get some kind of sauce or oil or something on it quickly. Or it will just stick together in one big ball. It becomes like gum. You just have to get something on it. And so that's why you kind of have to mix it together. You have to work around the fact that it's gluten-free. It's rice. Rice-based. Now I'm going to wash that pan out because I'm going to have to start the second set of noodles. Or actually the third, I already have another set going on my other pan. So there's another one going. Wash out my strainer, my colander. Now that's the spot spaghetti sauce I'm going to use. And everybody likes it. I'm just doing one little thing of it. It didn't make much, but people just kind of use it sort of as a condiment. They just add a little bit sometimes to their spaghetti, uh, to their lemon spaghetti, or add a little bit to the plain noodles. I'm going to make my, make my salad dressing. A little, little salt and pepper. Some red wine vinegar. And my bra strap showing, of course. <laughs> and olive oil. I tell you what, at this point, I just, you know, you, you get to working and you don't realize things like that are happening. But yeah, my bra strap shows the rest of the video, I think. So sorry about that. I just didn't realize it. And then just, you know, that's from the olive bar, just kind of sitting it out and getting it ready. And I have to sit all this on the table because his, uh, the birthday boy's table, it was all uh, fixed up with uh, skateboarding stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do my second, no, my, that's my third uh, package of noodles. I'm making the dressing, putting it on. I do it kind of early because for some reason the kids like it better if, if it kind of soaks into the, the lettuce a little bit. So I'm doing that a little early. There's my second. Now that's my third thing of noodles coming off. I think I'm going to add that to the lemon spaghetti. I tell you what, it's a like a little orchestra thing going. It's time for this and it's time for that. You just have to finagle around. Again, I like to add the hot water to rinse those noodles off because they will be so gummy and you have to immediately get those noodles in some kind of sauce and that's the lemon spaghetti I'm getting it into. So my sauce over there, the meat sauce, it's good now because it's covered. It's already covered the noodles. So it's good till we're ready to eat and they won't get gummy. Somebody's pulling up my driveway. 
and the dog will start barking. I got to keep on doing this voiceover. Okay, so um, yeah, you know, mixing it up really well. The the Parmesan cheese starts to melt a little bit, which makes it good, but it kind of makes it hard to, you know, it starts wanting to stick to the fork and stuff. So washing it out for the fourth thing of noodles coming up. And I like to, you know, I like to clean as I cook, so I'm going to get that pan through with that pan now, so I'm going to get it washed up and getting tired. That bra strap's going to show the rest of the time in it. I wish there was a way I could do it out. Okay, now I'm going to put the olive oil in the third thing over there. That's where I'm going to put the plain noodles, and you have to put quite a bit of olive oil on um, if you're going to have plain uh, gluten. Uh, there's nutritional yeast for those that can't have dairy and want Parmesan cheese and getting the fourth thing the noodles in and I'm going to put it over there in that olive oil, that plain olive oil after I get it rinsed off. So, oh, there, there's Doug. <laughs> I think he wants to put a spoon in. I think he wants to put a spoon in the sink. So I'm putting the olive oil in the I mean, the noodles in with an olive oil now. <laughs> oh, lousy. Got a shot of olive oil, of course. <laughs> and it, it takes a little, takes a bit more olive oil to keep those noodles from gumming together when they don't have sauce on them. A little salt and pepper. You do have to fiddle a bit with gluten-free noodles because they will get gummy. You have to rinse them off, or I do. I like to rinse them off. It doesn't say to, but I do. And then get some kind of sauce or oil on them. So I've got three things done. I've got lemon spaghetti. I've got, and I'm going to keep them warm. I've got lemon spaghetti. There we go. There's my plain noodles right here, just plain with olive oil and salt and pepper on it. There is just that little jar of marinara sauce that sort of is like people add to things. There, the next one is my lemon spaghetti. And then turn around, there is the spaghetti with the meat sauce. People eat it the most. There's the olive bar and there is the salad and that is it. I appreciate you watching so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you uh, a million times. I'm very, very grateful. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the week. I'll talk to you all in a couple of days. Bye-bye.